Hello, hello, fish friends. This is Leon, and well, generally in the last two days, I think he's been very busy. He's been inside his cave a lot, and when he does that, I know that he is up to something, and that something is probably eggs. And this is the fourth day since I noticed that, and as you can see, the fry, the eggs have hatched, and now we have fry. Now this would be a very good time to move the fry because if they are scattered in the tank, it would be a nightmare to round them up. This is the beater box that I will be using. It's just one of those hung in internally boxes that uses pockets of hair on the side, as you can see there, so to keep it point. But I do not trust that, and I insert styrofoam, and this just increases reliability of this box. Now we will be moving the fry into this box so that they can grow without any any a uh, less stressful grow out for them i just pour it like that and some of the fry i fill it up again with water by the way leon is inside this cave he is not moving out if, if he does somehow slip then i can easily just fetch him and pour him back into the tank we have a lot some have escaped into the tank inadvertently of course but i can easily round five six fish back into this feeder box then have the whole brood inside the tank that is a nightmare my total estimate for this is we have a total of a hundred or a hundred plus plus fry so there you go there they are and hopefully uh, within the next few days they can be moved now I have a shot here that I'm going to show you and this is approximately 24 hours later and you can see the fry have huddled into the corners and they have basically stick to the sides where they think they have maximum water flowing over them a few days of this and they go into another to a much bigger holding tank where they will grow out and they will be fed crushed dried food or brine shrimp or grindle worms and he also in this shot i will show you a bunch of my bristle nose plecos that have been growing out and these are approximately somewhere around five to six months old already and at this age i feed them heavily with po4 more or less a larger gauge pellet and they seem to like that they also like to feed on boiled squash i i know that uh, squash that's not cooked would have been more nutritious but i prefer to boil it so that it just sinks and I can easily notice that they seem to be growing up healthy and there's no problem so I I just do it this way anyway I really appreciate that you are watching this video until this point thank you so much and also I noticed that I have a lot of subscribers in India and Indonesia and even Malaysia that are tuned in but are not subscribed so please like and subscribe it would help me grow my channel bye